All right, so this is what we normally call selector switch. This switch is made to be able to switch between two different circuits at different times. Okay, because of its features, we can also call it rotary switch. So we are going to learn how these switches work and then how we can connect them in various circuits. So there are different various circuits that we can control with this selector switch. But to start with, we are going to use this to control these two different lamps. So we are going to look at how to do the wiring so that we can use the rotary switch to control two different circuits. All right, so as you can see from here, we can wire this selector switch so that this section can supply power to a particular circuit and then this section can also supply power to a different circuit. And then when it is at the middle here, there will not be any supply to any of the circuits. So here, first circuit, middle, power off to both circuits, and then two, second circuit. All right. This is very simple to wire. And then we also have this one with three poles. So this is single pole rotary switch. This is three pole rotary switch. All right, so first of all, let's talk about this. And then we look at this. So we are wiring this switch to control these two lamps. So section one will control this lamp. And then section two will control this lamp. When it's at the middle, none of the lights will be on. Depending on which one you want to come on, you can turn the rotary switch to that particular circuit. You can see here that in the wiring, neutral is common. So we have linked neutral to both lamps. Okay, but this is actually what will be controlling the power to the lamp. And so we have this separate switch wire to this lamp, and then this separate switch wire also to this lamp. We need a feed that will bring supply to the switch. And so we'll be using this cable for that feed. So very simple connection. Okay, so we can use these two terminals at the top for the input supply or the feed. And then for this particular wiring, we will loop the same feed to this terminal. Okay, so the first thing we do is that we bring the supply input here. Then for this particular arrangement, we will loop the same feed to the other terminal. So we connect the feed here. And then we'll take a loop from the same point. Then we take that loop to this second terminal here. Then the rest of the connection, we turn the other side of the terminals. And then the switch wire that will be controlling this lamp will be connected here. And then the other switch wire will also connect to this second terminal. All right, so it's that simple. When we supply power to this circuit, we can use this same switch to switch these two lights separately. All right, so let's look at how it works. Okay, so supply switched on. Now it's in neutral, so none of the circuits will work. By the moment it turns to one, this section of the circuit will function, and then when it goes to two, the other section of the circuit will function. So this switch is typically used to switch between two circuits at different times. This is not the only way you can use the rotary switch. There are other several ways that we can also use the rotary switch. And so in the next video, I'll show another significant way that we can use the selector switch. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you like this video, kindly give a thumb up, share with your friends, and subscribe to stay connected.